The God Skin Duo is without a doubt one of the most painful boss encounters in all of Elden Ring. Welcome to the channel my friends where today I'll be showing you how to exploit their weaknesses no matter what build you're using. Plus I'll showcase a little trick to make this encounter even easier. Let's go. So I'm assuming you've died to the duo at least once, probably a lot more than once, which is why you're watching this video after all. If not for some reason, then you'll need to let them kill you just once for this next trick to work. So I'm going to run into the room and let them kill me. Now when you respawn at the nearby site of Grace, you'll want to follow exactly where I go. Now I've already killed these soldiers that walk around here, but if you haven't, make sure you do that. You want to try and save as much health as possible, so sneak up on them when you can and get them from behind. Now there will be a fourth guy in this last room. I'll show you how I killed the other three using Rivers of Blood, which will be my main melee weapon against the duo. Now you can use magic, ranged weapons, or melee, it doesn't really matter. Now for this trick, you're going to need the Star Scourge Great Swords, which you get from beating Radan. I'll link a cheese for him down below. Now I found out about this trick through Crazy Cheshire, I'll link him down below also. Now all you need to do do is stand in this corner here and you're going to use the first part of the weapon ability. Now if you look really closely you can actually see it's damaging the skinny god skin. Now we can actually do this until we kill him. And once he's dead we can go over here and then you can do the exact same to the fat one. But this time instead of killing him we're going to leave him low. Now this is because it unfortunately doesn't actually beat the encounter, it just lowers their personal health bars. Now for whatever reason when we run in there, the fat godskin will be stunned for a little bit, so we can finish him off and deal a little damage to the overall encounter before the weaker one spawns back in. Now, in this encounter, you can use whatever you like. I'd say the only requirements are an item or weapon with the ability to cast sleep. Now, I'm using sleep pots, which you can craft, and I think they are by far the best option, but you could also make use of the Sword of Saint Trina or Saint Trina's Torch, or you could also use sleep arrows. Another requirement is the Mimic tier of course, you should definitely have this already, if not I don't know what you're doing. And then finally the Shabriri's Woe Talisman which will force the bosses to target the Mimic instead of you. Other talismans, doesn't really matter, just use something that will buff whatever weapon you've chosen. These are some of my favorites that I'm using, I'm also using a Blood Boil Aromatic which increases my damage output, definitely a favorite of mine that I use in most of my cheese videos. So when I get to the door I consume all my buffs and and then as soon as I go in, I'm going to cast that Mimic, take off Shabriri's, and then swap it for something else. In this case, I'm swapping it for a Talisman that increases attack power when at full HP. Now you want to be quick and take out the fat boy before he comes to his senses or before he summons his friend back in. Now once he's dead, you're going to heal up and get ready. As soon as the skinny one spawns in, you want to get your pots ready and toss them at him. Now if it's a decent throw, you can knock him out with one or two, and then when he's Lying unconscious, you want to go crazy and deal as much damage as possible. Now, soon enough, the fat one will be back, and the process is the exact same. If he rolls around, hide behind a pillar and make sure you toss your pots. You're just going to rinse and repeat. Now, if your damage output is high enough, this becomes an absolute breeze. And that, my friends, is how you cheese the god skin duo. Now, if you're a magic user, you could just swap out some talismans to benefit your magic, and instead of a strong melee build, you some high damage spells like Comet Azure. Now the glitch I showed you might one day be patched, so check the comments down below. If it gets patched, I'll let you guys know. As far as the rest, that should work forever because sleep is just their weakness and it is intended. Now I hope this guide helps. Let me know how you go and if you need help with the next boss, I have a couple guides for that as well. Take care my friends, check the description if you're interested in some Elden Ring inspired merch or if you're wanting 10% off some healthy sugar-free gamer fuel. Peace.